Welcome to the online lectures for software engineering. In today's class, we'll be studying the user interface design. Now, what is user interface design? Now, user interface design, it is an iterative process. Now this process is going to be carried out until the entire design has been completed. Now, every time you make an iteration, with each iteration, you're going to elaborate and you're going to refine the information. What does elaboration means? Elaboration means you're going to add more and more detail. Elaborating and refining that, you are going to elaborate and refine the entire information that was collected within the previous steps. Now, what are the previous steps? Once you've done the interface analysis is completed, all the tasks you've identified, what activities you need to do, when all of these things are identified, at that time, the user interface design is going to begin. Now, User interface design, it is an iterative process as I've told you. Now these are the different steps that are there within the user interface design. The first step is using information developed during the user interface analysis and define the user interface objects and actions. Now within those objects and actions, you might be wondering what are objects and what are actions. Now to, to accomplish this, you're going to make use of use case diagram. Use case diagram, it is a behavioral diagram. It is going to tell you what are the different, like it is going to show you the different aspects of the user. It is going to show you the system from the user's point of view, point of view of the user. So these use cases are passed in such a way that all your nouns become your objects. And all the verbs, they become the actions. So two things, nouns becomes objects and verbs becomes actions. So all the information that is collected and you're going to identify the user interface, what are different objects and actions. Or you can say actions can also be operations. Now the second one is define events. Events become the user actions. Define events that will cause the state of the user interface to change. That is if suppose the computer is functioning in some particular way, it behaves in this particular way. Now if suppose there is an event, if an error occurs, it is going to not execute the program. The program is not going to execute. So this shows that this particular event that is an error is going to stop the execution of the program. So this is how the behavior is changing. The next step is it depicts each interface state at as it will actually look at the user's end. Now that will actually look at the look to the end user means that things that are going to be visible to the end user, like the layout. These are these are things that you are going to focus on in the user interface design then indicate how the user interprets the state of the system from information providing through the interface that is whenever you go, are working on your system you sometimes get some pop-up boxes you get some specific messages so it is going to you're going to identify how the user is going to identify what that specific message means. So indicate how the user interprets the state of the system from information. That is, if suppose you get up a dialog box, what does that mean? If you have a dialog box that says that you have a system update, you need to update the system. When are you going to, you, whether you want to schedule it or you want to update it at that particular time, restart the system, something like that. So how this user is going to understand this, whether he's going to execute it properly or not, or you are going to simplify that, that is going to be identified. Now, while during all these steps, the designer, he needs to follow the golden rules. He needs to follow the three golden rules of user interface. 
and you're also going to focus on how the interface is going to be implemented that is how the user how the, or the different interfaces that you want the user to see how are all these things going to look at the user how you're going to implement them each of the thing is going to be identified here the next is user interface evaluation now this can also be taken as your interface design steps user interface design or the interface design steps this means it is the same topic then next is your user interface evaluation or you can say it is also your design evaluation your design is with your user interface now within this you have design and prototype evaluation now prototype is the model that you have created before the actual main model is created now before this prototyping occurs that is whenever you're going to create a model a number of evaluation criteria are there that needs to be applied during the design that is how you're going to judge the design that is going to be identified based on that you're also going to have reviews for that design model so the first criteria is the amount of learning required by the user that is how much this user needs to know so that he can properly work on the system what interface is there how it is going to be implemented how the user is going to think of it that is going to be identified then the next is the interaction time and overall efficiency now how much time it is taking and what is the efficiency of the task that is executing now this is derived from a number of user tasks that is you can implement a specific user task and you can see how much time it is taking for that particular task to get implemented or you can say how much actions you're doing within a specific task and the result is returned within how much of time based upon that you can identify this the next is the memory load on user now one of the golden rule was reduce the user's memory load that now this can be derived from the number of actions tasks and the system state whether the user have to remember more or the user has to remember less based on this this can be identified the next is the complexity of the interface and the degree to which it will be accepted by the user now the complexity means how difficult the software is to use and how much difficulty can the user allow or can he can have within the system that is if suppose a particular user have got good knowledge about the different user interface about the technology this if, even if he is given a complex system it is not going to be difficult for him to work on whereas a person that has got very minimal knowledge about the user interface the design different technology he needs to have a software that is simple to execute now this is derived from the interface style or what are the different help facilities or how he is going to handle errors now within this you've got the interface design evaluation cycle within this interface design evaluation cycle you've got a preliminary design now this preliminary design this is not your exactly main design this preliminary design means that it is sort of a model it is a prototype not the actual model based upon that you're going to make a prototype one interface that is you've got one that is you've got specific criteria based upon that criteria you're creating a model that is this how this is going to look like now this model can be a graphical model it can be a bar graph something like that then you're going to have user is going to evaluate the interface now when you've made a simple model that how the this uh, particular program is going to look like the user is going to work upon that and say whether it is fine for him or he wants some additional features are there whether he wants some additions deletions or modifications this can be identified here then 
evaluation is studied by the designer that is this is this part is done by the user the user is telling this based upon that the designer is going to identify and tell him whether this modification that has he has requested whether they can be done or they can't be done this is identified now when if those these modifications that are requested by the user those changes are done within your prototype <coughs> then these prototype changes now whether if suppose if any changes can be added within the model those can be added or else you're going to pick a few aspects or oh, sorry you are going to pick a few modules from the first prototype and you're going to create the second prototype Whereas if suppose this prototype has got some modules one two three four what you're going to do is that with those modules that are already here if suppose the ones that you want within the new system are four and three only so these four and three these are picked from here and they are placed here and then another model is added with some modifications like so this entire process this entire process is going to be repeated until the entire design is being completed now i suppose as the first cycle within the second cycle again this process is going to continue now the user is going to evaluate the interface if he does not want any changes suppose within this uh, model number three or two so these designs are to be evaluated by the designer and the interface design is complete. That is the designer phase comes to an end. So this is how the designing and prototype evaluation occurs within this iterative process. Now this prototype evaluation, this can range from an informal test drive that is the different test that you do to a formally designed one that is you can be asked to fill a few questionnaires now what is a questionnaire a questionnaire is going to be that a paper is going to be handed to the different people or the different uh, users are going to use the systems and based upon that some questions are asked you need to fill those answers so based upon that you get the user's point of view can be collected from this questionnaires so this prototype it can be an informal test drive to a formally answered questionnaire now this prototype evaluation cycle, it consists of prototype creation followed by user evaluation. Now in this slide, we have seen this, you're pre creating the prototype, there is a creation process. And the next process, process was the evaluation process. That is what is being created, this is going to be checked by the user, the one that is going to use the system. And back to prototype modification until all issues are resolved. That is, this is your modification phase. Now, this prototype is evaluated for satisfaction of user requirement. That is, whether all the features are requested, whether they are there or not. And also, if this user is satisfied by the different features that are added within the system or how the user interfaces, how is the aesthetic of the software, the colors, everything then confirmance to the three golden rules of the user interface design within this you're also going to check whether the three golden rules of the user interface whether they are followed or not now what are the three golden rules just for the revision as this is a very important answer thus the first one was place the user in control second one reduce the user's memory load and then third one was make the interface consistent now this can be asked for long or if for short it is asking it will ask you it can ask you what are the three rules so you're going to start with the three golden rules that these were designed by the person named Theo Mandel. And these are the rules. There's the end of the fourth unit. The fourth unit is completed. Thank you.